Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Nate's Pink Bookshelf. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and as the title says above and below, this is going to be my TBR for the Asian Readathon. I'm super excited to be partaking in this readathon. I wanted to partake in it last year, but I didn't. Um, this is hosted by Cindy from Read with Cindy. I will leave her announcement video in the cards as well as below and um, the prompts. So there are five prompts as well as a read along watch along type of thing that they're doing so i have a total of i think 17 books on my list um there are five books i definitely want to read because they go with the five prompts but then i have a bunch of other side books that are broken into two categories so physical books that i own from my actual physical collection that i want to read and then some other books on the side that i have ebooks of okay so we're going to start off with the prompts um, and again, this is a month long readathon that goes from May 1st to May 31st. So the first one is to read any Asian author. Um, and one thing that Cindy also wanted us to do was to read books from different, I guess, countries in the continent of Asia. So I have a total of 12 out of the 48, um, countries here. I actually have them written down and highlighted in my book for y'all. So the first one is for reading any Asian author. For that, I'm going to be reading The School of Good and Evil or The School for Good and Evil by um, Saman Ch Chanaini. I'm probably butchering that, but this is middle grade. The author is Indian, so that checks off one of the countries. And I'm super excited. This is, I think, a middle grade fantasy. If I'm not mistaken, I've had it for a minute. I have the third book as well. I definitely need to get the sequel, but I know that it's a middle grade that I've had on my TBR for a really, really long time that I wanted to read. Most of these books I don't really know much about except for their genres, but we just gonna leave it there. Um, so yeah, we have this as the first book. Um, that's a definite TBR book for me. Okay, so prompt number two is to read a book featuring an Asian character or author you can relate to. And for that, I went with Julie Kagawa's Shadow of the Fox. This is the first book in the, oh, I think it's the Shadow of the Fox trilogy. I think that's the name of the trilogy, but um, YA Fantasy, um, Julie Kagawa is Jap Japanese, so this marks off my second country of Japan, and I picked her because I'm a woman, she's a woman, we, I can relate to her to that level. I've heard some people compare this to an anime, I love anime, animes are awesome for me, so I'm super excited, and I love anything to do with foxes, we can all thank Naruto for that, but yeah, um, definitely going with this book. Okay, so for prompt number three, that is to read a book featuring an Asian character or an author different from you. So for that, I'm going with We Hunt the Flame by Hasfa Faisal. Um, this, I know that she is from Sri Lanka, if I'm not mistaken, Sri Lanka. Um, at least that's what I got the information from, that's what it said. Hopefully I'm right, but um, that is going to be the third location in the continent of Asia. And for this, I picked this because one, she is American Muslim, I'm not, that's one. Um, two, one of her characters is a guy, I'm not a guy. Three, both of her characters do different things for me. So the main character is Zafira, I believe. Yes, yeah, Zafira, she's a hunter. And then the prince is an assassin. I don't do any of that. So we gonna stick this in there for that. So it's a YA fantasy. Super excited to dive into this and read more about it. And I've heard really great things about it. So I'm super excited. And then the fourth prompt is to read a book recommended by an Asian. For that, I'm going with The Book of Fox by Kat Cho. This was recommended by Chloe from Books with Chloe. Um, and Kat Cho is Korean, so there is the fourth uh, country right there. And I'm super excited to dive into this. I think it is gorgeous. Now, I've seen the cover for the sequel. I will say the cover for the sequel is dope, but it's definitely a different style um, of like art. From this one so I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel like the placement of the words and stuff is pretty much the same but I noticed that the artwork is very different I'm gonna actually pop the cover for the sequel here but um yeah I'm super excited I did paint my edges in pink <laughs> we just love pink but um yeah we have this book the fifth and final prop is to read the group book um as well as do the watch along which is little fires everywhere by Celeste Ng, I think that's how you say that name, Celeste Ng. Um, and she is Chinese, so that's China. So that is five right there, five countries out of the 48. And um, I do have the audiobook downloaded. I need to get the ebook for that. I think I have the ebook on my phone actually. So we have that. And I'm also going to watch the actual series because I know that Carrie Washington is in it. <laughs> we love her. We love her. So that is that. Again, I will have all the information for the read along because the read along is going to be for two weeks and then the watch along is going to be for the following two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. So we have that. All the information is down below. But moving on to the other books that I want to read. Let me just take a sip of my coffee. 
okay so like i said i have five definite books that are my tbr so the five that i definitely need to read are going to be school of good school for good and evil sorry shadow of the fox we hunt the flame wicked fox and little fires everywhere so then i have other books okay so the first one i have here um is from i can't never pronounce this author's name so here it is um it's called the night tiger and this author is malaysian so there is the sixth country there you go um but if i'm not mistaken this is okay so it's like a historical contemporary fantasy type of story it sounded good got it from book of the month it sounded like a really great read at the time um it's set in 1930s colonial malaysia so yeah it sounds interesting i wanted it i know that it had some type of like gruesome stuff and it deals with like spirits and the finger of somebody was cut off it's a weird sort of synopsis but it sounded really intriguing so we got this book okay so the next book i have on my tbr um is the center of the crane by joan he joan hay don't know if i'm saying it right but um she, the author is chinese and i'm super excited i know that this deals with the princess um and it has to do some like magic and sacrifices and stuff i just think the cover is gorgeous like this cover is everything to me book of the month copy of course i'm tackling a lot of my book of the month books if you haven't noticed the theme here i have a total of two four five six seven seven book of the month books on my entire tbr I'm, I'm doing a great job okay okay so the next book i have on my tbr is going to be song of the crimson flower by julie c dow julie c dow is vietnamese so that is the seventh um country so 7 of 48 right there um and what i remember is that this is a YA fantasy that deals with a i think she's a princess is she a princess no she's a nobleman's daughter her name is lon and she rejects bao who is the son of a physician yeah he's the son of a poor phys uh, physician's assistant and um he's in love with her i guess he confesses to her she rejects him then she feels bad um she finds his flute that he never is without but something happened where bao's soul gets trapped inside of the flute and they work together to figure out how to break the curse and i guess if they can become a couple or something like that it's really short i'm excited to read it um so yeah the next book i want to read is the never tilting world by Rencha Paco. now technically i read it already <laughs> but i want to reread it because i don't think i was like fully invested as you can see like i started tabbing but then i gave up tabbing as i read it so i definitely want to reread it now that the audiobook is available for me so i do have the audiobook already want to reread this she is Rencha Paco is filipino and chinese so filipino there is eight so eight of 48 right there for me and i know that this has lgbtq rep there is um what is the word one of the characters is without an arm i know that um it deals with goddesses twin goddesses that don't really know that they're twins they live on two separate sides of the world one world is like it, it's consistently in darkness and coldness and then the other world they're like consistently in sun and heat both are dying something with the rift in between yeah i read it before like i said i know how it ends it was a little interesting to me i did like the romance for sure the romance in this was epic um we loved it but i definitely want to reread it again so that it is fresh in my mind so yeah we have that ya fantasy next one is going to be the gilded wills by roshani chokshi um she's filipino and i've been wanting to read this i've heard that it's kind of like six of crows but it's not six of crows um same kind of high sort of feel but definitely different from six of crows i enjoyed six of crows love it so much can't wait for the um show to come out but uh I just want to read it because I have it and it's been on my TBR for a while and I just want to knock it out because it is one of my book of the month books and we see that my book of the month bookshelf is packed I haven't gotten any book of the month books for a minute there are about four books that I do see on there that I want to get but I want to read more of these first so yeah we have this book okay so these last three are going to be the physical books that I own and then I'm going to move on to the last four that I want to read that are more ebooks so um we have Anna K by Jenny Lee it's a love story why a contemporary I heard that this is supposed to be a modern darker version of Anna Karenina which I'm super excited because I have seen Anna Karenina I think it was a movie if I'm not mistaken I haven't read the book I do want to read the book but um yeah so she is Korean I already have someone from korea so we have that and uh yeah super super excited to dive into this i love this cover it's really pretty next we have anna dressed in blood by kendar blake uh korean again <laughs> korean author i have been wanting to read this book since oh my god when did this book come out 2011 <laughs> been wanting to read this since 2011 so we gonna read it it's by a i don't know if it's fantasy or paranormal because anna is a ghost but she kills people that's all i really remember so yeah 
Then the final physical book that I have is one that I've already read, loved, want to reread, and I'm so stoked that I had found it in these covers. I bought it from my local library when they had their library sale. I was so excited to find these specific covers because these covers are gorgeous compared to the other covers. But um, it's The Wrath of the Zone by Renee Audier. Now, I could have went with another book from her, The Beautiful, because I do own it. It's back here somewhere. Is this it? No, where is The Beautiful? I have it somewhere on my shelf. Let me find it. Because I could go with either one. Oh, here it is. What am I doing? So I could go with The Beautiful from Ren by Renee Audier. I could do this or this. I might do this though. We don't know. So I have The Wrath and Dawn by Renee Audier. Re read this, loved it so much. It's amazing. Why a fantasy? And um, it has to do with uh, the story. What's the story? 1000 and One Nights. That story. So it's like a retelling of that, but with more fantasy aspects to it. Loved it. Um, so I did read this already. So I might not choose this, but we have it. If I don't read this, then I will switch over to The Beautiful by Renee Audie. Again, she's Korean. Um, so yeah, might do this one instead because it is a book of the month book. Definitely want to get my book of the month books read. And it does deal with vampires, even though I know the vampires don't really show up in this book to like the end. And I think it's going to be a part of a six book series, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll see. We're going to debate on one of these. One of these to read. I don't know. Because I read that one, but I haven't read this one. But I really want to read this one. So one of these two from Renee Audier will be read. One of them. Don't know. We're going to leave these here. Okay, so now moving on to the final four books that I want to read. They're going to be ebooks because I don't have physical copies of them. Two I have already read and just want to read, try to reread. And then the other two are books that I haven't read but have been on my TBR for a while. So starting off with the two that I've read. So the first is going to be Gates of Thread and Stone by Lori e. M. Lee. I love this cover. I think it's really pretty. I have read it. I think I gave it a four star rating if I'm not mistaken. Thought it was an awesome story and definitely want to reread it. This author is Hmong. I'm probably saying it wrong. It'll be on the screen because I don't want to get it wrong. But that is what she is. So that will be the ninth, I think. The ninth. Nine of 48. Yeah, nine of 48 countries. Um, the next one is going to be Pakistan. Pakistani author. And that is going to be An Ember in the Ashes by Safa Tahir. Now, I don't own a physical copy of this yet. But I am actually currently planning on ordering the first two books I have read and Ember in the Ashes loved it but I want to reread it before I dive into the sequel stories because I know that the, it started off as a trilogy and then turned into a four book series I've only read book one so I want to reread it but definitely gave it five stars loved it so Pakistan Pakistan that is going to be 11 and 48 countries there um and then the final two authors the first is going to be furthermore by Tahar Mafi she is Iranian so Iran that is uh 11 of 12 countries right there um 11 of 48 countries excuse me and all that I know is this is a middle grade fantasy and the character I believe is albino and has to do with colors that's that's all I know I own the ebook don't know much <laughs> else about it and um the last one is going to be forget tomorrow by Pentip Dunn and she is Thai so that is 12 of 48 there and I know that she writes a lot of sci-fi mixed fantasy blends. I did read Malice from her. Did enjoy that. Um, so I could have went with that by doing a reread. But I'm deciding to go with Forget Tomorrow by Pintip Dumb. Um, so I think that is it. That's a lot of books. <laughs> like I said, a lot of books. I only have a definite plan to read five of them, okay? Like it's broken down. So these are like my definite five. These are the other ones I want to try to get to. And these are possible if I can't. Like if I finish these, possibly these. But again, I said that's 12 and 48, so I'll run through the countries again. So we have India, Japan, Sri Lanka, Korea, China, Malaysia, Vietnam, um, Philippines, Hmong, probably saying it wrong, I apologize, um, Iran, Pakistan, and Thailand. So that is 12 of 48 countries. I think that is awesome that I got that many. And I think that's it for this video. It's a lot of books. So if you haven't already seen my other TBR video, which will be the books I'm reading for the Tome Top Around 11, click the on the screen to go watch that. But that is it. I think these are all the books that I'm going to try to read. I mean, there are other books that I definitely have to read for the month of May, but um, I'm not going to include like a TBR video for that. But um, yeah, that's it.
and thank you guys for watching if you are participating in um the asian readathon let me know what books you'll be reading leave comments down below with your videos if you have any videos up i definitely want to find other asian authors to read from but i think that's it for this video i will see you guys in the next video bye